Hey painters. All right, so the second part of this assignment of matching colors, and then if you notice the title, light and shadow. For each one of the shapes on my canvas now, I need to create a sense of light and shadow. I have to come up with a highlight version of that color and a shadow version of that color. While this section is still active, I want to make sure that I can work wet on wet, meaning putting wet paint into wet paint, and then create a sense of light and shadow on that form, and then create a sense of a transition between light and shadow. Some things you need to know. When we look at a color and it has no sense of light or shadow, I should say highlight or shadow, we call that the local color. So if you look at any colorful object in your house right now and you ignore the really bright highlight from wherever the light source is coming and any shadows on it, it's that color that you think it is. So the definition of local color is the color we perceive despite the effect of highlight and shadow. So I already matched the local color in this one. What I need to do now is create a sense of highlight and shadow. When I do this though, I want to make sure I retain always a sense of what the local color was. You can see in all of these, this is the local color, this is the shadow, and this is the highlight. But the local color always remains. I can do this any way I want. Um, I can play around and make the shapes feel kind of round. This looks like a red marshmallow to me for some reason. Again, another cylinder kind of shape, highlight across the top, shadow across the bottom, some light on this edge here to give it a sense of dimension. Um, this one I poked a hole into, so it feels like a tunnel going back into space. Uh, Let's see, this one has a sense of almost an opening. It feels like a tent from above. Like you can enter from this side and this is the top and the sides of the tent and this is the other flap of the tent. This one down here starts to feel a little bit like an avocado with a pit pulled out of it. This one feels like a pitched roof or kind of a diamond facet. And then I poked a hole in here. Really you can do whatever you want with this. In fact, there's a blue taco shell over there. I don't know what this thing is. Kind of looks like a wallet or something silly like that. Some of these other ones, like a green stone. This one has an indentation in it. This one just has some random highlights and shadows on it. This one feels like the Superman logo without the S, kind of like a diamond faceted thing. And then this one's kind of fun right here, where played around with the idea of making it feel like the corners of a piece of paper are folded up and coming towards us. The local color is in through here. There's a shadow being cast from these objects onto it. There's a shadow on the back side of the folded corners, and then it's casting a shadow onto the shape beneath it, which is giving that real dimensional feel like it's coming out at you. Point is, as you're doing this, you can really, really experiment and just play around. Remember, just like we were when we were mixing color, we were just experimenting with how to do this. Now that we've matched the color, we can experiment with that too.